Hey y'all, welcome back. Um, for those who do not know me, my name is Trisha, Homebody Trish here. Um, on this channel, I do a, a vast amount of things. Most of them are going to be home um, renovation, some lifestyle, cooking. Uh, just It's just a representation of Homebody Trish, all the things that I do um, or that I'm into. <clears throat> but today on this video, we are going to, I'm going to show y'all the beginning stages of mid beginning stages of the kitchen renovation as y'all can see i'm actually in the kitchen right now it looks like i'm in some type of warehouse but no unfortunately this is the kitchen <laughs> but so we have it blocked off right here to the rest of the house this is just like plastic so that everywhere is not getting dusty you know all the different dust in the house so this is blocked off um while the kitchen is being renovated so I'm just going to show y'all, I am going to upload a few pictures of, or videos, whatever I have to show y'all what the kitchen looked like before we kind of like, I want to say destroyed it. So, <clears throat> well, before the kitchen was destroyed. So I'm going to upload those pictures. I'll probably just put them here, here, or wherever. And then, um, let me just show y'all what the kitchen looks like now and then our plans for the kitchen. All right. So this area right here this kind of goes to the the rest of the house but all right this is the kitchen this is the kitchen for those who are visual hopefully you know y'all can kind of y'all can kind of see for those who aren't i don't know i don't know what to tell you just try, but just try to visualize it with me so here in the kitchen it used to be from the pictures that i uploaded y'all probably can see but there was a sink here and then we kind of had like the pantry and stuff right here and then like cabinets. And then the oven was over here. There was nothing in this section in the middle. There was nothing at all in this section in the middle. So the reason for wanting to even do this kitchen renovation in the, the beginning was because I found myself, the stove is here in one side. The sink was over here by like the window, under the window. And then the refrigerator was over here next to the pantry. So I would like be cooking and I need to wash my hands. So I gotta walk over here. And then I'll be back over here at the um, the stove, the oven, whatever. And then I'm like, oh, I got this another refrigerator. I'm walking over here. By the time I finished dinner, like I was exhausted <laughs> just from walking around the kitchen. So I kind of wanted to make the kitchen functional. So that's where this came about. Um, so we are going to be adding, we are going to be adding a island. Um, typically, my husband would have done, would have done all the work, but he's, long story short, He's kind of hurt. He's hurt and he's down, so he's not able to do as much and as quickly as he once was. So this renova <clears throat> renovation, <clears throat> we kind of had to put we had to put it on pause, but we can't live like this forever, so we just have to get it done. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, it just wasn't functional. I will. Say, so we we decided to go with like a, um, I don't know if you can see here the the, the um, So we decided with going. We are going to put the sink in the island. Originally, I didn't want that. I just wanted a, you know, like a large island with no sink in it, um, just so that the island, the, the sink didn't like impede the flow or, or anything. But I also wanted to have access to outside. So down the line, we are going to like kind of make this a door of some sort so that we can go outside from here. <clears throat> so yeah, I just wanted to show y'all where we are now. I uh, so like recently, let me just back up a little bit recently we did order cabinets they came in the oven has come in the microwave is here um some other things that we, we picked out they're, they're on it they're on its way but <clears throat> up until like this past week or whatever the the kitchen was still functional so we had like a makeshift countertop and like this is like a makeshift island so we could still it was still function but now with all the dust and you know just <clears throat> we had to like take the um what is it called the stove out and things like that we this kitchen is like really no longer functional um so i'm really excited or like not excited anxious to get it done because i want my kitchen back um so with that being said with that being said give me a second i lost my train of thought
Uh, with that being said, I want to really get this this done. Um, all the things are coming in. I need to make some decisions. So today I'm going out and I'm going to look and see if I can find like just finishing things for the kitchen. We still need like a faucet and just kitchen stuff, right? So that's where we are. Um, yeah, I'm going to just give y'all a tour of what the plan is. So over here, we are going to add some more cabinets back for, uh, for storage. That's one of my big things when we were playing in this kitchen was to make sure there was enough storage. I think I was going like storage heavy at one point and I was going to have like cabinets everywhere because I just want everything to have a place. Um, so yeah, we're going to come over here. So. Um, <clears throat> the, the refrigerator is going to go back over here and then we're going to have like cabinets and you know, pantry and stuff like that. The, I think the biggest change that's going to make it the most functional is just having the access to outside and then having this island here with the, the faucet in here. So like when I'm working, I'm constantly, like when I'm cooking, I'm constantly like washing my hands and you know, that whole thing. So I don't have to walk a bunch. It should be a step or two away. So that's what I'm excited about. And yeah, I just wanted to get on here and show y'all kind of like a tour of the kitchen and what is happening and the mess that kind of living in, but kind of dealing with it. So I'm really excited to like get this done and I wanted to make sure I documented it, one, so that you guys can see like a kitchen renovation, but also two, because sometimes we, in the past, like did updates and, and renovations and different things to, 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 <clears throat> to houses and then we don't document and we kind of forget. Like, oh my God, I forgot it used to look like that. So I just wanted to have it documented that at one point it was looking like this. So hopefully in the future, Sooner than later, it'll be looking a lot different. But yeah, so far, um, <clears throat> they're in here and they're like doing finishing up like the, the ceiling. So we took out, we took out like it was like a long white light, like I don't know, like the the generic light that kind of comes with the houses that they build and stuff. So that was here. Added some electrical and stuff to have like the pendants over the lighting. Added some recessed lighting. And yeah, I'm still gotta take down some cabinets and then get in here. But this is just the beginning phases. Wanted to document it. This is where we are. And that's it. So I think I think I mentioned everything. Of course, once I stop recording, I'm gonna realize that I forgot to tell y'all something. But that's it. Did you have anything? No. We just just need to get out of here before the contractors get in here. Well, yeah, space. yeah, and it's really dusty, so I, I really don't like to come in here. Um, yeah, so I'm going to get out of here so that I'm not inhaling this soot, dust, whatever it is. And I will take y'all with me. If I, I'll, I'm not going to take it, but I'll show y'all if I find anything while I'm out. Because I'm just looking for, like, I need handles for the cabinets, finishing pieces, faucet, just stuff like that. You didn't want to talk about, about that uh, thing over there? No, there's nothing to talk about right now. Okay. So, All right. yeah, that's it. Let me just take this and show y'all because I don't know what the cameraman captured and what he didn't. <laughs> so, yeah, this is how we are looking now. These floors were laid, you know, a while ago. And I, oh my gosh, I can't wait to get rid of this yellow paint. That's one of the big things too. But yeah. It's a slow process, but it's coming together. <clears throat> so this is going to be an island here. We're going to have access to outside here. Um, it'll be cabinets on this wall. The oven is going to go here. And then kind of the island, some bar stools. And then we're going to put a, um, a table here. I want to go circle, but I'm really feeling like an oval may work best in this space. So we'll see whatever I'll show y'all because we did get the cabinets delivered um, recently. So I'll show y'all what the garage is looking like. I just can't wait till this is done because it's just impede. It's just like the whole living, the way we're living is not, <laughs> it's not it. And, and everybody just take their good old time. Yeah. So we are trying to like expedite this, but you know, we can only control what we can, can we can only control what we can control. And then y'all know on top of that, baby is coming. <laughs> Baby is coming, so I really want it to be done before.
the baby gets here. I don't want to be worried about this. All right, I'm going to show you all the garage, though. All right, so this is the garage. Um, it's kind of embarrassing, but it is what it is. So these are the cabinets that we're going to be putting in. I wanted to go with, like, this natural wood color. Um, that's that. But we're we're not able, oh my gosh it's so cold out here we're not able to use our garage because this is, is filled with kitchen stuff so the refrigerator was moved out we actually had two refrigerators the other refrigerator that we actually use is still in the um is in the house i'll show you all that too it's just it's just a mess the oven is out here old cabinets it's just you know i'll show you all this this will probably be a whole cleanup a whole cleanup video but I am happy that the cabinets are here. Um, uh, what else? Anything else, Derek? All right, just wanted to show y'all the process. It's taking up a whole car spot, so it just ought to be enough storage. I hope we have enough storage to put all of our things once, you know, once it's all said and done. And then this is just coming in from the garage. So there was actually a door here. I mean, like a, a closet here, but we got rid of it because it just felt like really cluttered when you walk in. But I do want to add some storage back, so we'll see. It's all a work in progress. So, yeah, this is going to be where we'll sit and eat for the most part. But I'm really thinking we're going to be using the, um, what is it called? The island. Mostly using the island. But, y'all... Yeah. We haven't solidified any of like the details as far as like the island length and the width. We have some things in mind, but it's not 100% certain. Although the kitchen is a mess, deliveries are starting to come in. So this is the microwave. It's in this huge box. I feel like a microwave box does not need to be this big. But we went with a we went with a um. Uh oh, it's just packed well, I guess. We went with the, um, I guess it's a 30 inch. A 30 inch microwave. See, it's just the front that's wide, but the inside is still the same. All right, hold on. And then we also have our oven delivered. So things are starting to come together in the midst of this kitchen looking like who shot John. But it'll come together. No, I'm visual, as I tell y'all all the time. So we got these cabinets in here just to kind of see what it looks like um, in the space. So these cabinets are actually reversed. This is this cabinet belongs down there, and this that one is the trash can cabinet. Um, I want to put it down here so it's closer to, like, the eating area. You know, easy to get to the trash. But, yeah, this is the island. Right on this, on this side and keep both the cabinets down here? That's the option. Because this space right here is for the dishwasher. This would be the sink. This is all, like, the island. Cabinet, dishwasher, sink. And then that's the trash can. But the trash can actually belongs down here. Derek is thinking. Derek, hold on. Derek is thinking we should put... The no, dishwasher on the left hand side. No. You no. put the dishwasher right. only a little bit though, because that's twenty one inches. The dishwasher is twenty four. But we already kind of. This is our center line where our, our pot goes at. True. Our center line, so we want to kind of stay almost center. So, Derek is thinking we should put. What was you saying? Put the dishwasher down here. Move the trash can. Well, the trash can goes here anyway. But he doesn't. He's thinking maybe we shouldn't have. Maybe we shouldn't do that because that'll push this cabinet down to the right, and we're trying to be kind of centered with the um this wall over here where the stove will be, and then we'll have like a pot filler there. But I feel like if it's not going to be directly centered. It may make sense to move this down so it'll look, you know, kind of be more a little bit more intentional. I don't know. I have to see it. Shopping with a dish for a dishwasher with the kitties. Yeah. Hopefully, we can find something. 
supposed to be shopping for um dishwashers but here we are looking for a dishwasher I figure I look at need to look at the kitchen handles too um I like this style it's just kind of I don't know I like this style but something about this side this piece like inside of this wiring it just makes me feel like it's gonna be dirty and I won't be able to clean it does anybody have that type of sink well faucet and how do y'all feel about like cleaning it, getting this part clean? That's just what I noticed. I don't, I don't know. But then I saw this one down here, and I'm like, this probably will work better because it's in, you know, it's kind of like encaps, encapsulated in this, so it may not get dirty. But yeah, I kind of like this style. Well, I kind of want to go. I think I want to go with gold. I was bouncing back and forth between gold and black. But I like this style. Probably because it just gives like some type of texture. But probably gonna get something like that or one of these. The amount of kitchen sink options is slowly but surely stressing me out. I don't know if I wanna go double, like something like that. I like the idea of the workstation. And then I also like like the open, just the one single. I don't know. I don't know. See, this is like a workstation. I like this one. I can see myself cleaning the fruits and the vegetables here. I'm not really sure what this is used for. Cutting up the stuff. Hmm. I used to love like the farmhouse apron type sinks. I still like them, but not as much as I once did. And I like the idea of like a black sink, but I just can imagine it being filthy. So I think I'm gonna stick with stainless. pretty far this looks sleek too and you can get it with like this finish it's cute hmm. i love this right here i like this oh and it seems like you can wipe it down better because it's not like a material Hmm. Hmm. Nice and deep. This is Blanco. Hmm. I feel like I should have got a farmhouse sink. So this is the different kitchen handles. It's so many to choose from. I like, um, yeah, but this is, you gotta think about when you're opening the doors though. Like, are you gonna wanna grab this little part? You want something that you can just kind of pull on, pull it open real quick. The same thing, Trish. I like this one. I'm going for like that gold color. The fact that there's so many options, y'all know it's stressing me out. <laughs> I do like this one. I like this. I want to go with this, but I feel like, look at the texture on this. That is going to be hard to clean. I need to go with something smooth like that so I can wipe it down easy. Easily. But this is beautiful. I like this one. Uh, 
as y'all can see, I got distracted with the kids inside the store. We did we did pick a um a dishwasher, but I wasn't able to record. So I will update y'all on that once it gets delivered. But slowly but surely it's coming along. I'll see y'all next time.